Hello and welcome everybody to another Pop Science with the two Evan Nutty Professors. So I'm Professor Anne and this is the lovely... Professor Anne. You're yeah, Professor Raquel. The two Anne's. <laughs> well... <laughs> We've Your middle got, name's Anne, so you're alright. We've all both right. got Anne's in our name. <laughs> 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 so yeah, ever important as usual. I'm not going to say what the experiment is, but it is good. So I'll explain it afterwards. Ever important health and safety. Always a must with these experiments. Um, with this, do not eat the tinfoil. Even though they are small balls, do not even attempt to eat them because we don't want anybody in A and E. Uh, adult supervision because even though we are using tinfoil, uh, at the some occasions if you rub your finger on them, you can get paper cuts on very deep paper cuts. So this is where your parents might have to uh, give supervision here. There, and like I said, a chance of cuts using tinfoil. Uh, materials, what you're going to need is a balloon. Most of us have got balloons, you're going to have plenty of fun with balloons. Don't blow it up too hard though. So yeah. <laughs> uh, what we also need is aluminium foil, which we need to, in the process, and I'll do that when we do the instructions. What we also need is a, a woolen jumper, yeah, or anything what's wool, because we it's what we're going to be using balloon for and it does say some adhesive tape but we don't really need it for this one so yeah so now I'm going to ask the question of what do you think is going to happen so we are going to be rubbing the balloon in there for a certain amount of time and then we're going to be putting it near our little balls of our aluminium so what do you think will happen Will all happen? Will nothing happen? So I'm going to leave that question. So write it in notepads, and so pause it, and we'll we'll carry on with the process. So I'm going to pass you over to the lovely app. Right, guys. So you don't exactly need a lot for this experiment, but you will be amazed. So first, place a large sheet of aluminium on a flat surface. Don't need sticky tape really. Just make sure it's flat. Then you need to cut small pieces of aluminium. You don't need them too big. They just need to be about 5 millimetres in diameter. And don't screw them up too tight. They don't need to be really, really tight. So just put that, the cat will show you. So just pop then. So what we do little square. It's a thumb size, finger size piece. And just roll it Roll up. it up there. And then pop it there. So then next you need to blow your balloon up. Be very careful with this. We don't want any balloons banging in anybody's faces. Here we have a, a nice bluey green balloon with the delightful Raquel there. Yeah. Right, so now you need to think what is going to happen. Right, so you need a jumper for this. The jumper will probably need to be polyester or acrylic. Um, it doesn't work very well on cotton. I'll explain why in a minute. So get your balloon, give it a good rub on that jumper. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> the I, do for this I show. know, I know. Look at that. <laughs> Give it a good rub. Probably for roughly about 30 seconds. Oh. Roughly for about 30 seconds. So you've now got your balloon rubbed on the jumper and you've got your little aluminium balls on the sheet. So now be prepared to be amazed. Look at that! It's like hailstones. <laughs> so there you go. So you should see all your little aluminium balls jumping up and down at the minute. A bit like you get popcorn where the popcorn's jumping up and down. Give it another rub. That's it. Look at that. Fabulous. And there you go. So now Raquel is going to give you the reason why this is happening. So over to you. So the science behind this is static electricity acts a bit like a magnet, but only for a short amount of time. By rubbing the balloon, it becomes electrically charged with positive ions. 
The energy tries to flow naturally by approaching the aluminium balls uh, with the balloon overloaded overload with positive ions. It attracts the balls because of the strong contrast between the negative and the positive ions. Energy seeks to balance itself out. So that is it for another science experiment. Unfortunately, this is the last week of this. But hopefully in the future we could carry in some more on. So keep your eyes peeled on our YouTube site and you're more than welcome. Hope you've enjoyed it. So goodbye from me, Professor Raquel, and my trusty colleague. Goodbye from me, Professor Ab. And don't forget, have lots of fun. That's the most important thing. So it's bye from the two nutty, nutty professors. professors. <laughs>